So check this out. If you are a fan of K-Pace Guy, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know that I've always had white walls. Even back living with mom, <laughs> I always had white walls. And being in an apartment, that's what you get, white walls. It's kind of just the normal color in homes nowadays here in America. Now, this is not um, painted wall. This is peel and stick. And this video is not going to be about the peel and stick wallpaper itself, but it's going to be about making the wall black behind the screen and what it's done to my home theater experience. Now living in an apartment, I think my landlord would be okay with me painting the walls a different color, but even if he was okay, I'd probably have to change it back to white when I left, which is coming up pretty soon. So an alternate for painting the walls is to get peel and stick. Now peel and stick, you can use it to change existing wallpaper, or you can use it as I did if you don't want to paint your entire wall. It was really easy to put on, it took me about an hour, and this wall is probably between 13 to 15 feet wide, and of course eight feet tall, or maybe just a little bit less, because my ceilings are eight feet. So it wasn't hard to do. But like I said, this isn't about the peel and stick paper itself. It's about making your background black behind the screen. I didn't expect to get this uh, effect for my home theater. The reason why I chose to go with this black and do that was just to have an accented wall. This is my home theater wall. My speakers, projector, my subwoofers are up here, and then of course my screen is here. So I wanted a contrast of color to kind of put emphasis on this part of the room. That's all that I wanted to do. But I actually got a benefit out of changing my background to black, and that was the contrast level and the uh, immersion that I got from putting this behind my screen. You're probably thinking, okay, what are you talking about? You just painted one wall black. How does that help your home theater? Well, let me tell you how it's helped mine. This is an Akia screen here. This is my um, ambient light rejecting screen that I uh, am using currently with my Samsung Laser uh, Ultra Throw Projector. And it's beautiful, I love it. You guys can see it here, it's really, really cool. The borders on most all projector screens is black, right? Mine is the thin bezel, so it's really hard to see as it is, but because it's the same color black as the background behind it, I no longer can see my bezels anymore. Even though they are already thin, they have completely disappeared when I'm watching pretty much all my content at any part of the day. And so now it just looks like a giant TV is mounted on the wall, which is really, really cool. Um, me personally, I've never really wanted my living room to be a home theater, but this is the only room that I can do it in right now. And so whatever I can do to make my living room still feel like a living room, I want to do that. And as you guys can see here, it looks like a giant 103 inch TV is sitting on the wall mounted flush and there's nothing else to it because you can't see those bezels anymore. And that's a really cool effect that I didn't expect to like. It just now looks like it's floating. Now my screen is also a gray screen as well. So when the screen is off, you have that really cool contrast between black and gray. So it just looks really cool even when it's not in use. And even at night, when I'm watching uh, shows and YouTube and watching movies in here at nighttime, having the walls black, Limit, eliminates a lot of the reflections that you get when using a projector or even a television. Of course, light bounces everywhere when you're watching TV and the, the walls around it is one of those surfaces that it reflects on. Well, this black material, it's kind of a matte black, doesn't really have much reflection in comparison to the white paint behind it. And so all the, the light that comes off of the projector and bounces off the white speakers and everything, it just kind of is mute on the black surface. So all the picture stays here, my focus stays here, and it just, again, adds all this immersion and realism to my home theater. So why am I telling you guys about this? If you guys are a homeowner, which a lot of you guys rent and own your own homes because you guys are a little bit older than I am, most of my uh, age group is between 22 and 50, so a lot of you guys are relatively established. You guys can paint your walls black if you like to, if you haven't already, or a dark gray. A lot of people paint their ceilings for that same reason, to keep the light here and to keep it from uh, reflecting and, and, and bouncing everywhere other than where it needs to. So you guys, if you haven't already, can do the same thing. And if you are in, a, in an apartment or the wife doesn't want you to change the wall color or paint the house or you just don't feel like doing it, this pill and stick is awesome. Uh, this, I took me maybe one and a half rolls of this 
um, for $20, $20 to do this whole wall. It wasn't bad, got it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you wanna check out some of the colors and the brand that I use. Super easy to work with, looks really good. There's a few bubbles because the wall behind it isn't perfect. So whatever creases and curve you have on your wall, it still will kind of be there behind it. But if you didn't know that this is a peel and stick, you wouldn't think it, it was. It looks like paint. You can't see the individual rolls that I had to uh, stick. It looks like one sheet of paint. So it's really cool and it's really helped out my home theater. So I wanted to give you guys some ideas this holiday season. If you guys are looking into owning a home theater and building one, well, here's an idea to throw into your um, your blueprint if you, if, you, if you want to. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below and let me know are your walls white or have you painted your home theater? If you have, what color? What has it done for your experience? Let me know that down below in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you guys in the next video. Kick this guy out. Peace. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.